Today we're going to be doing a review of my gig bag, my sticks and uh, the things I use for a job or for studio work or for just playing. And I'm going to show you why I like what I like and why I chose what I chose. Enjoy uh, for you new YouTubers to my channel, welcome and uh, hope you like this. Well, this is my stick bag and how it hangs on my drum, my floor tom. We're going to talk about that, what sticks I use, why I use them, and uh, how I use them. Okay, so this is basically a Promark stick bag. And um, Promark is really good. They make a lot of good products. Um, it's got this weird, I don't know what it's called, but it's... Uh, like a brown and tan hound's tooth kind of design. Uh, it's it's nice, a little dated looking, but I had one before this that had fur on the inside. <laughs> it's kind of strange. Uh, these are the hooks. You want to make sure you have rubber. Uh, if you care about your toms, some people don't. Some people use their toms for an actual drum and hit the side of them. I've never done that, so. But these are rubber and they go and. When these start wearing down, then I can use tape. And these go on the side of the lug nuts. So, And then I put my special specialty sticks in the middle. So these are sticks I don't use too, too much. Um, reason being, I don't really know where to get them. Um, so I think some of these are, they're no longer. These are Heyman Standard C's. They have a really good sound, made in England. Uh, the tips are in pretty good shape. You know, they basically, uh, they're not worn at all. I'm spinning them around, they're not chipped. If you see a chipped end, it's gonna sound different when it hits the cymbal. By the way, right off the bat, some of you probably realize I don't have uh, nylon tips, and there's a reason why. And the only reason why is because we live in a country where we can still choose things. <laughs> so, I don't like nylon, so some of you do, that's great. Um, I'm not against nylon, I just don't like them. Uh, and then these are a set of Pro Marks that I got from somebody. Uh, now these are chipped. When I say I got from somebody, I don't know. Rod Morgenstein's given me drumsticks. Um, Dave Weckl's given me drumsticks. Um, oh, I can't remember the name of him. There was a uh, drummer I met. He actually gave my wife some drumsticks. <laughs> we have drumsticks. I actually have a, a drumstick by Keith Moon uh, from The Who that I got years ago. So, But those are my specialty sticks, and I keep them right in the middle portion of my stick bag. Over to the right hand side is my pouch that I keep mallets and my brushes in. I did a video on brushes before. Around. And again, when you open these up, you don't want to twist the T-rod. You want to keep the T-rod even with the stick. Because if you twist it, you'll start to break these inside. So. So those are my those are my brushes. These are actually fantastic sticks. Again, I said I'm not brand loyalty, but there you go. Um, this is a great stick. I want to show you for those of you who don't know a way to test a drumstick out when you go to the store is you simply roll it. The first thing is I'm on marble, so this is completely flat. You can use glass or you can use marble or something really, really good flat surface. And you roll it, you should be able to hear if it's an even roll. Obviously that isn't. <laughs> uh, let's see about this one. That's better. And when it rolls, you shouldn't see the end of the shank here. You shouldn't see where the tip is. 
go up and down because then it's really not a very well made drumstick. But I must say, these have been in and out of an environment that's very harsh for the past mm, 10 years at least. I've had these drumsticks for 10 years. I know it. Some people say, how do you keep that stuff so long? Well, it's starting, they're starting to wear. You can see right there on the very end. Not, um, not too, too bad. You know, they're matched. So every stick set I have is matched. That's, that's just about done. I'll use these a few more times and then I'll, I'll figure out what else I'm gonna use it for. See that, again, that's, that, that tip right there, it's going up and down unevenly. And it's also making a sound. So this, this stick is virtually done. It's almost on its way out. And this one's pretty good, even though it's the same set. But that has the real bad groove in the top of the tip. So these, this pair is definitely on its way out. I used to play timpani. Um, I played mallets. I played marimba. These are very good, very good mallets. A little worn, though. One, one tool uh, to help out, and it's hard to see with the, let me just back that away there so we can see more in that carpet. One way to be able to tell uh, if these are wearing down is first of all, the, the fuzzy is a little loose. <laughs> and secondly, um, see that line right there? There's a line, I don't know if you can see it with the camera. But that means this part is starting to wear off of this part. So. But these are good. You know, I'll use these in, until they're no good anymore. And again, um, not that I endorse them or that I'm a you know, big fan of theirs. I just happen to like them. So again, another big fur uh, mallet set. Um, these are called hot rods. Um, but they were also known as plastics. Uh, I think that, that's the generic name, basically. A bunch of rods put together, little dowels. But these are very, very good. There's two different sizes I use. I only have one size in my uh, kit right now. And then these, these are something I just picked up. Um, again, I just want to give a shout out to Dale's Drum Shop. Hey, hey, Dale. Right in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, great place. Um, this this is uh, something I just picked up, and um, thought this is a this is a real neat, uh, useful tool in my collection to be able to play my my congas or my bongos, and um, they don't really ruin the heads, and you can adjust the tension by sliding these O band O rings up up and down. So they work fantastic. I really like them. Brand new, haven't used them before. And lastly, I want to say with this stick bag, it comes with, um, and this is great for gigs, but um, unfortunately I don't have anything in there to show you right now. But this, you can put your wallet in. I never play and never sit on the throne with my wallet. So oftentimes I would put my wallet in there my car keys in there and then of course the drum key and then some things I needed along the way for a gig and uh, a clutch for the hi-hat and stuff like that so very useful uh, this is a great great bag I don't even know if these are available anymore so but that's that's my arsenal of, of useful things for gigs for, for jobs and just for being home and playing so Well, thanks for watching. Um, if you like this video, please hit like. Um, put a comment in the comment section below um, and hit subscribe. And don't forget to hit that bell for notifications.